Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about PyOTPC and learn how to read its data using Pandas. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to call this lesson 2 underscore by odbc.py okay. for this demo I'm going to import by odbc and also I'm going to import pandas as pd Now, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that this package are installed. To do that, you need to install by using pip install by odbc. Okay, then you need to go, you need also to install panda. pip install pandas. While waiting, uh, pandas is uh, widely used when it comes to if you're going to use some data frames to read a data using Excel, pandas are most commonly used to that. Okay, good, we're done. So let's uh, proceed. So once you completed the installation, let's get in this one here. The next thing we need to do is call the connection. So to avoid uh, much uh, error in typing, I'm going to copy the old example, which is this one. Then I'm going to paste it here. Okay. All right. This one is taken from the from the lesson one the intro so you can check that video and start from how did i create these things here now this time i'm going to create insert here the database that i'm going to use my database my to call is my odpc dash master okay Once your connections is set up, or already installed, set all the necessary potential, next thing we need to do is call that using pandas. To do that, I'm going to call this as result. Then, I'm going to call this variable here, which is the pd, or stands for the panda. So, pd.read underscore SQL okay. since I already install this one here so I'm going to call select I recall from our database which is the by ODBC masters that tbo that and our table name is student okay 
okay let's change it to this one here okay now since we already called our query the next thing we need to do is call the connection okay. to refresh our memory we're going to check our database okay this is from my first example so this is the table that we're going to use the student under pi odbc master so we're going to print this data in pandas now let's continue okay after calling the result the next thing we need to do is call that in our data frame going to assign a variable which is the df short for data frame then the pandas so pd dot oops data frame okay and then going to get the result okay since i'm going to convert this to or read this in pandas the next thing i need to do is i need to convert this into save the data into excel to do that, I'm going to type df dot and what conversion so for here going to use to Excel and the file name is file example dot xl sx and next thing is the of course we need to indicate the sheet name now for the sheet name we're going to type this result or results okay Now I'm going to save this one here. So let me explain again. So the first thing is we call, of course, uh, we import our package called PyODBC and pandas. In pandas, I assign it to the variable named PD. So this line here, I also call the connection, which is the connection of our database. And then assign this uh, in Panda to read using read SQL. And with our query, then assign with the connection and convert. Okay. This line here, we convert that to data frame. Now, as a result, using the data frame, we save that as Excel with a file name of file example xlsx. XLSX. Inside Excel, we assign the sheet name to results. Okay, so let's start. So I need to type pi yes on 2 underscore pyodbc dot py. Enter. Okay. Now we have an error. Why? So if you happens to have an error like this one, we need to pick that error. So in here, it's looking for a module named pi, uh, open pi. This is open pi XL. So in other words, it requires this package. So we need to install that. So I'm going to copy this pi open pi py7. So cut. I'm going to clear here and type pip install open py excel then enter okay good we're done so i'm going to clear this one here hopefully there's no more error so I'm going to save this one, uh, save once more our file, then run again. Okay, 
and I hit enter. There you go. Now notice here, it auto generates the name of the Excel, which is the file example. Now, if you click here, you cannot see the content. Now, if so happen that you don't have a MS Excel installed in your Windows system, in VS Code, there is a package or extension called again x excel excel okay there's a package called excel viewer so since i'm i'm using bs code and i don't have a excel installed in my system i'm going to use this extension again going to install this one very good now once installed need to go back to my files now here you need to write or right click with your mouse then select open preview and there you go okay I have to close this one ah, sorry so i'm going to open here okay. so that's it guys so this is how you use uh, pandas with a combination of PyODBC and also with this uh, another extension which is the Excel viewer you can use this one if you don't have a Excel installed on your PC and this is the sample output of that file uh, that's it guys if you found this video informative don't forget to like the button and subscribe see you guys next video series. Cheers!